Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid remains the favorite to sign 18 years old Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea target Lenny Euro. Transfer expert journalist Fabrizio Romano has come out to claim. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress. And then shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day. As in a recent media interaction, Real Madrid ace Brahim Diaz stands by his decision to play for Morocco over the Spanish national team setup. So we are going to discuss you through that on this episode as well as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Lenny Euro is a player in demand heading into the summer transfer window with top teams like Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain with Chelsea interested in his services. The 18 years old centre-back is enjoying a brilliant breakthrough season at Lille and has done enough to convince Los Blancos to go after his signing in the summer. Paris Saint-Germain have been monitoring Euro since January and even made a play for his signing in the winter but it did not lead to anything substantial. More recently, Chelsea too have entered the race for the teenage centre-half signing with Thiago Silva likely to move on at the end of the season. Despite the growing interest in the 18 years old defensive prodigy, Real Madrid remained the favorite to sign Euro, reports Fabrizio Romano. As per the Italian transfer guru, the, the Merengues are pushing hard to sign the teenage defender from Lille in the summer and are currently in the driver's seat as far as the battle for his acquisition is concerned. Paris Saint-Germain for their part will continue to make a push for Euro's signing like they did in January. As for Chelsea, they are monitoring the defender but there have not been any concrete moves made as of yet. Meanwhile, Manchester United are also reportedly scouting the 18 years old. In spite of all this, Real Madrid remain the front runners to secure the teenagers' signing. While Real Madrid maintain a strong interest in Euro, they are not prepared to shell out crazy money for his signing. After all, he is just 18 and has a contract that expires in 2025. But Lille are holding out for a fee of around 60 million euros for their teenage gem, which could pose a hurdle in the negotiations as far as Real Madrid are concerned. It is remained to be seen whether Real Madrid are able to convince Lille to lower their price valuation of the French centre-back or will stand firm on their initial bargain. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Real Madrid ace Brahim Diaz stands by his decision to play for Morocco over Spain. Real Madrid attacking midfielder Brahim Diaz was in the news just ahead of the recently concluded international break as he finally made a binding decision over his international future. 
spoiled for choice between the evergreen Spain and the World Cup breakout stars Morocco. It was not an easy decision for the Real Madrid star. In the end, however, he opted to snub the La Roja and represent the Northern African nation for a plethora of reasons. The biggest of them all, however, was the chance to be the center of, attra of attraction in an up-and-coming team. Speaking to the media after playing for Morocco in the recently concluded international break, the Real Madrid phenom was quizzed about how he was, especially after the mixed reaction from the public after he announced his decision to snub Spain. I am still a player of the best club in the world. I am very happy for the affection I have received and for the love they give me. I have no words. I have been educated in these values and the most important thing is to demonstrate in the field, to talk in the field and it is what I like the most. Brahim Diaz added, as revealed by Mundo Deportivo. Brahim then went on to outline his ambitions with his new international team, stating that he was aiming to take home silver words in the coming years. I really want to win a title and bring it here home. I am very grateful to you, the Moroccan national team," he stated. Diaz travelled to train under Walid Regagui's site earlier this month and linked up with the likes of Hakim Ziyech, Sofian Amrabat, Akraf Hakimi and Yasin Bono on the team. He played a part and started both of Morocco's game against Angola and Mauritania. And while he did not record any direct goal contribution, he was impressive in both matches. The 24 years old first goal in the new colors is not far away, especially given the bright call that surrounds him in Morocco. Heading back to Madrid, he will look to keep up his goal of good form as Los Blancos stir a critical UCL clash against Manchester City in the coming month and the Downton Athletic Club in more immediate future. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that we have Come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our latest Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.